Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. Happy holidays by the way. Before we actually delve into the bread and butter of today's video, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members. I've had a couple patrons and YouTube community members here lately and man, you guys are so generous. Thank you so much for your contributions to the channel. This channel would not have grown this much without you all. I really mean it. So, we are going to be talking about spell damage and what exactly it means. So, even though this game has been out for seven years, there's still a lot of misconceptions and misinformation about what spell damage is or does or a reference point or what's it all mean? What's it mean to have a thousand spell damage, right? What, what, what does that even mean, right? So in today's video, we are going to do a quick test and show you guys exactly or, or let me explain, give you guys a baseline of what spell damage actually means. So. So what prompted this video was some trolley comments. Typically, I ignore them. And every time your boy Horcrux says numbers in any video he does whatsoever, you best bet there's gonna be someone down in the comments calling me out on how my math is wrong, how the numbers are wrong, yada yada, spamming formulas, you know, here's how it is, Horcrux, you know, blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys, I get it. I know the formulas. I played this game for seven and a half years. And it doesn't work the way you all think. I hate to tell you, you can show me whatever Excel sheets you want within depth. I dare you guys to prove me wrong in this video. I actually, I challenge you to do so. This will be a very simple experiment. My claim is that 745 spell damage equates to 10% overall raw damage. So you can see with the comments floating around from Misty Guru, yes, I'm going to expose this man because he's super annoying super egotistical and sometimes your boy horcrux has to rein in these egotistical assholes and yeah assert his dominance so we're going to be using him as a reference so the next time you guys comment in the comment section please have some data to back it up because your boy horcrux has nothing better to do on the holidays other than to cook and clean and go appease his girlfriend's parents and opening gifts and blah blah so i'm looking for any other excuse to just not do that and that's what we're going to do in this video so the best way to do this is let's get some baseline so let's go ahead and remove all of our jewelry here I'll explain jewelry in a moment so let's go ahead and take uh, a couple mental snapshots shall we so our small damage right now is sitting at three six two four or future war Rex, please have that up on the screen okay so three six two four is our spell damage just completely ignore that completely ignore passives and blah 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 the only thing we're looking at is spell damage that's it Th this is going to be our baseline three six two four so we're just going to see how much damage a whip does okay it crit of course it crit seven one one eight so at three six two four spell damage our whip is doing seven thousand one hundred and eighteen damage all right so your boy horcrux claims that 745 spell damage equates to 10 percent increase in damage so let's go ahead and add some jewelry pieces so we're adding non-offensive jewelry pieces we're just adding one piece so ring the pill order only gives us spell damage doesn't give us you know any other benefit iron blood again has no offensive set bonuses whatsoever another 278 spell damage and then last but not least we're just gonna toss on elf bane it doesn't give us max magicka because we're just trying the one piece and we're just worried about the spell damage now if you add all the spell damage together, 174, 278, and 278, you come out to 730 spell damage. But if you take a look at our character sheet, it's not exactly 730. So our spell damage has jumped up to 4383. Three. Take a mental note of that, which is actually 759 higher. So there is a little bit of stacking and multiplicative things going on because... This spell damage we added goes into your base damage and then gets multiplied out, yada yada. So, more of the story, instead of getting 730 spell damage, we're actually getting 759, which is slightly above Horcrux's prediction that 745 spell damage equates to 10% overall damage. So, with that being said, we have the spell damage noted. Let's go ahead and whip this guy one more time and record our numbers. So, we get 7930. So, at 4,383 spell damage, we get 7,930. So what are we going to do from here, guys? If any of the trolls in the comments, any troll has passed grade school. So the only thing we're going to do is do a percentage, which is a very basic part. Divide by whole times 100, 
if you had any chemistry, you had any biology, anything, you will be able to do this. So with that being said, we are going to take our previous whip, which is 7,118. We are going to divide that by the new whip that has been increased by 759, which is slightly above our estimate. So that means you should be doing slightly more than 10%, not much, not even percent, probably like a two five, probably like a quarter of a percent more to be honest. So, which is seven, nine, three, zero. You come out to 0.8976. So now you're going to take one minus 0.8976 eight nine seven six and lo and behold guys what do you come up with point one oh two something something yada yada just as predicted so with that being said if you were to interpolate yes from thermodynamics or chemistry you guys have seen the tables you grew up if you don't know what interpolate is don't worry about it it's essentially you can take two known points and just kind of do a proportion to get exact values for a predicted amount, right? So anyway, long story short, at 745 spell damage, you will get 10% increase in overall damage. That's it. So if anyone tells you otherwise, they are completely wrong. Refer to Horcrux. Horcrux sometimes knows what he's talking about, okay? When it comes to damage numbers, guys, I sit and beat my head off the walls trying all the different sets out, trying to get as much damage I can possibly squeeze out as possible because I am an elitist, okay? That's why I'm good at this game because I know how to push the boundaries of the classes. I know how the math works out. So, if you're going to be a troll like Misty Guru, please have some actual data to back it up. Sorry for being toxic, guys. Again, happy holidays. Also have a Patreon YouTube community membership. If you want to be a part of that, link is down in the description. All the details is down there as well. In closing, nana nana boo boo, stick your head in doo doo, miss you guru, because Horcrux is smarter than you you. Have a great day guys. Peace. <laughs>